Enter roundabout, then take third exit. I had to move away from the side of the road into first gear, find the biting point, check my mirrors and all round observations, especially my blind spot, no traffic following, no signal necessary, at least a handbrake and away we go. We're on the 30 limit at the moment and the instruction was to take the third exit at the roundabout turning right. So as I approach the bend, check my mirrors, internal and right door mirror. Signalling right and then positioning to the right. Planning to stop but looking to go at the roundabout so I'm crawling up second gear looking right and looking right again. I'm going to make it. And then take the third exit, mirror signal left. We're now in a 40 limit. Accelerating up through the gears, checking my mirrors as I go. I check my mirrors before and after every gear change. Miles, then to roundabout, then take second exit. So I can see the roundabout sign ahead, the second exit is straight ahead. There's an exit off to the left, so I'm going to approach in the left lane but not signal left just yet. So checking my mirrors as I approach, off the gas, starting to squeeze the brake. Then take second exit. Slowing my speed down, planning to stop but looking to go. Looking to the right, it's clear I'm going, I'm going to proceed in second gear. Past the first exit, two mirrors and signal left. Still in a 40 limit, I haven't seen any new signs. Checking my mirrors up through the gates. Got a roundabout sign ahead. As I look at the sign, the third exit is off to the right. In the three o'clock position as I approach the national speed limit, just before the roundabout. So I'm not speeding up, I'm slowing down for the junction. Two mirrors and signal to the right. Squeezing my brakes again. Nice open view of the roundabout now. Very easy decision to proceed. And I'm proceeding in third gear into the right hand lane as I approached in the right hand lane, passing the first exit. As we pass the second exit, checking internal mirror now, left door mirror and signalling left. Safe to move over into the left hand lane for my exit. Arriving at destination on left. Remembering this is a national speed limit, so probably my speed up as I check my mirrors. There's a blue van behind me coming off the roundabout. Park car on the left hand side. Drive point three miles, then enter roundabout. I can now see the roundabout. It's not told me where I'm going yet, so easing off enter the gas. Then take third exit. Third exit is off to the right, so internal mirror, right door mirror. Signal to the right and position to the right. Starting to brake, slowing down. Very nice open view of the roundabout. Again, easy decision to make. It's clear to go and I'm proceeding in third gear. Again, I approached in the right hand lane, so onto the roundabout in the right hand lane. I've passed the first exit. I'm going to keep my signal on until I see the second exit. There's a second exit there, so internal mirror, left door mirror, signal left. It's now safe to come across into the left hand lane for my exit. Exiting in the left hand lane. Exit left, then enter roundabout. Still on the national speed limit, and the speed limit is now 70 miles per hour. Coming down a slip road to join a dual carriageway, so I've got good observations of my mirrors and over my shoulder. When I check over my shoulder, it's a Exit very quick left, check. Quick but efficient. I'm now taking the next slip road on the left. So, two mirrors and signal left. Before I pass the 100 yard marker, now into the slip lane, crossing the dotted lines, or the broken line, and cancel the signal as soon as all four wheels are across the broken line. Looking at the sign, I'm taking the third exit, it's off to the right, so two mirrors to the right and signal to the right, position to the right. Using the hill to slow me down, I'm now on the brakes. So I wasn't accelerating coming up the hill there. 
planning to stop, looking to go, it's a busy roundabout, there's a van passing my view and then a silver car and then another van after that. So I've came to a hard stop, I'm hoping to go after this silver van, yes I'm going to take this gap, it's big enough for me, into the right hand lane, build up my gears, clear the exit nice and early, if it's a busy roundabout you want to clear your exit, get moving nice and early, past the second exit, so it's two mirrors that signal to the left, Moving across to the left as early as I can. Don't wait until you see your exit before you check your mirrors or do your signal or change your position. As soon as you've passed the preceding Nine, exit, get your mirrors and signals done as early as you can and move across and change your position as early as you can. <coughs> so I'm still in the 70 limit, national speed limit in the dual carriageway. An overtaking car. Always check your mirrors thoroughly and regularly on dual carriageways and motorways. Be fully aware of your surroundings so that when a, a car is overtaking you, you know it before it appears in the side of your vision. One, eight, one miles into roundabout, then take first exit. Right, I'm catching the car in front and I've got 1.1 miles to the roundabout, so I'm going to overtake them. I'm going to take two mirrors, signal to the right. Let them know I'm overtaking. Cancel the signal. And I'm going to move back across once you see both his headlights in my rear view mirror. Two mirrors and signal left. And cancel the signal. Remember to cancel your signals when overtaking on dual carriages and motorways. It's unlikely to cancel itself. Just speed now signs, so I'm easing off the gas. I've got a van behind, then not too close. Then take first exit. Van's now moving over to the other lane to overtake. I'm 300 yards away from the roundabout. I'm taking the first exit to the left, so I'm going to start braking as I go downhill towards the roundabout. Checking internal mirror, left door mirror signaling left. Still braking, still in fifth gear. No need to put the clutch down just yet. Good look to my right, and the decision's now made to go, so clutch down into third gear for the speed that I'm currently doing. Clutch back up, back on the gas. Now, not too heavy on the gas on this road, it's, got right. it's quite a sharp exit, so just following the shape of the road nice and smooth. And the surface isn't as smooth as a fuel carriageway either, you can probably hear it's a lot rougher under the tyres. Now at the end of the road I'm turning right, I'm coming into a 30 mile zone, so 2 mile signal right. I've got one car following quite close, so I'm braking earlier than slightly normal, just to let them know. So I'm braking earlier but softer over a longer distance. It's quite close to my right, so hard stop. I can now see a vehicle coming from my right, he's indicating to come into the road I'm leaving. Just wait until he turns, yep, I'm clear now. As I turn, I've got a 20 limit sign, but lights are not flashing. Right Schools are in holiday at the moment. Drive checking my mirrors to move out for the part van. Right. And then checking my mirrors to move back in again. No signal necessary though, so I didn't, because I didn't need to change my speed that much. I just gradually changed my position. Driver behind knew exactly what I was doing. If I had to brake before I could move out, I might then use a signal to let the driver know why I'm braking, why I'm slowing down. Turn right. And the traffic lights, I'm going to turn right. So two mirrors, internal and right. Then signal to the right. And then position to the right. Lights are changing just in time for me there. I was anticipating that with my approach speed. No oncoming cars, so I can still make the turn. Right, turning into a town centre, village centre road, two pedestrians looking over their shoulder, they were thinking about crossing the road, but they haven't. Further up, I've got a zebra crossing. Arrived no one waiting to cross at the moment. So I'm going to proceed through that as well, but at a safe speed, 22 miles an hour I'm doing at the moment, so not the full 30. And that's mainly because of the parked cars on the left hand Five side. Point. Four miles, then enter roundabout. I can't give the parked cars the full doors width that I would like to give them on this street. 
Having cleared the parked cars, I can now squeeze the speed up slightly to the 30 miles an hour. Up to fourth gear. No immediate hazards in front of me, so I'm going to cruise along in fourth gear rather than a higher revs at third gear. Two miles, then to roundabout, then take second exit. At the roundabout I'm taking the second exit as per the instruction and I can see from the sign the second exit is straight ahead. There is an exit off to the left, so I'm going to approach in the left hand lane. There are arrows on the road telling me which lane to use. Then take second exit. But I'm not going to signal left on approach, that might be misleading. It's a very open roundabout, it's very clear. I can see that it's clear to continue at this speed, so I haven't changed gear, haven't touched the clutch. And I didn't touch the brake either. I just eased off the gas on approach was enough. Right, so still in a 30 limit, so not accelerating too hard as I go down this hill, or I might end up over the limit. We've got a parked car half on, half on in the right, and I've got a full parked car on the road on the left. So check my two mirrors moving out, I've got time and space to pass this van with the oncoming cars and move back in again safely. It's not enough that you need time and space. You also need to make sure that the driver that's coming towards you does not change position because of your position. Right, park cars again, both left and right hand side. So oncoming cars, so checking my mother, slowing it right down. There is space for me to go through, but not at a great speed. So I'm going to progress. No point in stopping if I don't need to, but at a safe speed. Same again here, park, no parked cars on the right hand side, but I'm still well over the centre line, encroaching into the opposite space. Bend round to the left, traffic lights ahead. In point two miles, turn right, then arrive at destination on left. Traffic lights are a pedestrian crossing, so I'm looking to see if there's any pedestrians waiting to cross. There isn't any, so I'm not expecting the lights to change. And then I'm preparing for this right hand turn ahead. So as I go around the bend, I'm checking my mirrors and my right door mirror. As I get closer to the turn junction, right. checking those mirrors again. And signaling right. There is two oncoming vehicles as I slow down and approach. I make my decision that I've got time to walk across the road in front of that blue car so I have time to turn across the road. I'm going to hang back here. This car's committed himself to my side of the road. He's now flashed me through. So after making safe that it's safe to proceed, not reacting to his flashing lights, certainly not ignoring them either. I'm going to take the next road on the right. And that will be the end of my sat nav drive. Or sat nav part of the drive. The sat nav part of your test will last approximately 20 minutes if they use the sat nav at all. So, when in a scheme road like this, 20 miles an hour is usually an advisable maximum, sometimes it is a mandatory maximum. In this area it's an advisory, it's 20 is plenty with the green signs, which means legally I could still do 30, but it's clearly not safe to do that speed. In fact I don't think I've got above 50 miles an hour there. I'm going to take the next road on the left, two miles signal left, there's a parked car on the corner, there's a road sign on the corner as well, so I'm going to have to go a bit wider to avoid that. don't want that to scratch the side of my car as I go round. So that was nice and slow, making sure there was no cars coming up the hill, passing the parked cars that are on my right hand side. Got a blind bend to the left. It's a natural bend, so I'm going to slow down for this one, back down to second gear. Parked cars on the left hand side. Good look up the side, and it's clear to proceed. Now when you're in the schemes, it's quite 
possible that the examiner might ask you to pull over and stop at the side of the road and then just simply ask you to drive off again. Park cars on the bench, so slowing it down. Can't see through the van. That's now safe, so I'm going to make progress. So I had a good look up the inside view of those parked vehicles to see if there was anything coming before committing myself to the other side of the road. At the end of the road I'm going to turn left. So two mirrors, signal left. Nice early signal because there's a car approaching behind quite close. So I'll give him good indication that that's what I'm planning to do and then I was going to slow down after that. Now I'm looking to my right, it's very close to my right, you won't see this on the camera but there's a hedge which makes it very difficult to see so I'm going to crawl out with caution to get a better look and I can now see that it's clear so I'm going to make progress and up through the gears checking my mirrors traffic lights around the corner are red so I'm not going to go up to third gear which would was a normal for my engine's noise there at that point in time Lights have now changed to green, so I can now go back on the accelerator and make that third gear change now, which was a good 20 yards later than I was planning to. Always plan the road ahead. Got a bend to the right. Now we drove this road coming in, so I'm expecting all of these parked cars again, and now we can see them. No parked cars on my side of the road, but that does not mean that the oncoming car is going to give way to you. You would expect them to, but don't drive and force them to. Slowing it down to see past this fan and moving out. Check my right door mirror there as well. A bit clearer so I can now get it up to the full 30 miles per hour. <coughs> now the car in front is flashing his brake lights. He's slowed down several times or squeezed his brake several times and approached to the parked car on this side of the road. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to position myself nice and early, let the oncoming car know that I'm committing myself to this space. I'm happy that I'm, this space is big enough for me. I didn't touch the central line as I passed the parked vehicle, so I wasn't encroaching into their side of the road either. At the roundabout ahead, I'm going to take the first exit left. So, two mirrors and signal left. Again, a nice early signal because the same following vehicle is right quite close behind me. Not close that I'm worried about it, but just closer than they need to be. And I'm now into a national speed limit. Speeding up to as much as 60 miles per hour based on conditions. So it's road conditions, weather conditions, traffic conditions. I'm going to take the third exit of the roundabout off to the right, so two mirrors and signal to the right, positioning myself nice and early to the right into the right hand lane, squeezing the brakes as I approach the bend on approach to the roundabout. I've got a nice open view of the roundabout, early decision to proceed after this white car take that gap, not slow it down any further than necessary and make progress where possible. You may have heard me refer to plan to stop, look to go. I use that expression quite a lot on roundabouts. I'm going to take the next exit, so check my two minor signal left, move across the left hand lane nice and early. And I'm now into a 70 mile an hour zone. So I'm accelerating out, up out the hill from the roundabout, cancel my signal, up into fourth gear. So making progress nice and early on this fast moving road. Now we have the vehicle overtaking me that was quite close behind me all that time. I'm doing the full 70 miles an hour, I'm in fifth gear at the moment. I do have a sixth gear which I happily use. I don't often teach my clients to use it. But always use the highest gear possible. it's a gear that you can accelerate in. I'm going to take the next slip road, I've just passed the 200 yard countdown marker so I'm going to get my mirrors and signal on 
there's no following traffic. If there was, I may have signalled a bit earlier. Cancel the signal now that I've crossed the broken line. I've now made my lane change, so I don't need my signal anymore. I might need another one as I get towards the junction further up. Slowing it down as I go downhill. Moving quite wide to avoid the solid chevron lines. Hitting around the belt and taking the first exit left. So I'm at a signal left. The height of the grass to my right hand side has made visibility very difficult, so I'm going to come to a hard stop and just crawl out with a bit of caution. I'm happy that it's clear I'm going to cut and continue. I'm going to finish this drive on the, in the lay by on the left hand side, so two mirrors signal left. The rest of this route turns you right at the roundabout ahead and into the test centre car park. Handbrake on, onto neutral, cancel the signal, foot off the brake, foot off the clutch and await the next instruction.